Hello, everyone, and welcome to BricsCAD Discovery Days. Today is Tuesday. Therefore, it's time to talk more about how easy it is to replace your current CAD system with BricsCAD High. My name is Don Strimbu. Uh, I'm head of communications here at Brixis, and with me, my friends and colleagues, Julie Kavarian, technical product specialist, who will be showing you more about BricsCAD today, and Mr. Robert Green, our director of implementation here at Brixis. In the next 30 minutes, our goal is to share a couple things with you. Number one, what is BricsCAD? Who is Brixis? What is all this about? Why are you here? Then Julie will take us through a demo of some of the AI and machine learning features in BricsCAD V20. One of the things that's really important is the fact that if you already know drawing-based CAD systems, you already know BricsCAD. And we'll talk a lot more about that. So the demo today will focus on how we're different and the things that we can bring you, how we can improve your workflows and speed your designs in these times when it's really important to be very efficient as a company. Robert will then close up with a great discussion on the BricsCAD value proposition, what it means uh, to your business, what it means to your engineering and design departments, um, and how BricsCAD can help you achieve your goals for less money in less time every day. So I think it probably makes sense to talk just a moment about what BricsCAD is. Um, BricsCAD is a product from Brixis. We're a global provider of affordable, modern CAD, BIM, MCAD, and common data environment products. And those are brought to market under the BricsCAD brand and the Brixis 24-7 brand. Now, we're a part of Hexagon AB, which is a $20 billion publicly traded technology group. And that's important because it gives us reach into places that we could never be before. There are Brixis product users in over 110 countries today. And the company, Brixis NV, is headquartered in Belgium. We have over 200 employees distributed across eight countries around the world. So not only are we a viable organization on our own, but the power and leverage that Hexagon brings to us means that we can be everywhere we need to be and we can help you in every way uh, possible. So BricsCAD is the cost-effective alternative to the popular CAD and LT CAD products that you use today. Our goal is to prove this to you in the next 25 minutes. But first, let's talk about BricsCAD as a product family, because BricsCAD is more than just one product. It's actually a family of five products. Uh, basic 2D drafting, BricsCAD Pro is our AutoCAD alternative. BricsCAD Platinum brings 3D constraint systems and advanced freeform modeling to the platform. And then BricsCAD Mechanical and BricsCAD BIM solutions that run as a part of the extended BricsCAD product family that we call BricsCAD Ultimate. When you download a 30-day trial, that free 30-day trial of BricsCAD from our website, you will download the BricsCAD Ultimate installer and all of these environments are available to you. Something else that's very important is that all versions of BricsCAD connect with Brixis 24-7 our cloud-based common data environment to allow you to share files, interact and communicate with your peers wherever they're located around the world. So why is BricsCAD different? Well, I think the first thing that I'd like to say is that it's different because it's so similar to what you already know today. Again, if you use drawing-based CAD products today, both the BricsCAD user interface and the user experience are both very, very familiar. This is something that's important. Robert will go into a lot more detail about this in his portion of the presentation. But the important thing is, if you come into a familiar environment, your training costs will be lower, and you'll be able to move forward based on things that your users already know about how to use a CAD product. So unlike some systems that require a complete paradigm shift, 
BricsCAD is simple to learn and very comfortable from the start. Now, there's a lot that you can do to customize BricsCAD to make it look the way that your users are comfortable with. But very important, I want to show you what our BIM solution looks like also. Notice the commonality, but also notice the simplicity of this user interface. And I talked about Bricks is 24 seven as a collaboration tool. You can see over on the right hand side of the screen, the Bricks is 24 seven panel that allows me to communicate with my colleagues and move files back and forth across the system transparently right inside of BricsCAD, whether I'm in BricsCAD Pro, BricsCAD Platinum, BIM or BricsCAD Mechanical. Again, BricsCAD Mechanical, again, in a user interface that you're already familiar with, fully customizable based on DWG. Um, you know, technology that 20 years ago we were told was not viable, and today it's still the de facto standard for engineering data storage around the world, and we leverage GWG to a level that you've probably never seen before. Really quick note about Bricks CAD Mechanical. The sheet metal functionality is based on lofted solids. And that, along with our direct modeling technology, allows us to create very robust sheet metal forms that can be deeply modified and edited to make them optimized or to optimize them for manufacturing. Um, without the brittleness that's associated with a lot of other products that do sheet metal modeling. So a lot of technology here inside of BricsCAD that we hope to uh, introduce you to over the next 25 minutes so that you can get excited about this product as excited as we are and be ready to try BricsCAD and move to it with your company. So why BricsCAD? couple things that Robert will go into great detail around, but first off, it's affordable. It is eminently affordable compared to the price of subscription-only CAD products available today. It's compatible. It's muscle memory compatible with your users. The user interface and the user experience are something that they're very familiar with. Because of this, it's eminently learnable. Users of other drawing-based CAD products can be comfortable in BricsCAD in an hour and productive in less than half a day. It's flexible in many ways, but most importantly for the CAD administrator and the purchasing agent, for all of you out there, you'll be happy to know that you can buy a perpetual license of BricsCAD. You have the option to put it on maintenance if you wish, or you can subscribe. So we offer you all those options. We also offer network licenses, volume licenses, or single user licenses. It's up to you. We don't want to get in between you and your engineering department. We want to make it as easy as possible for everybody to be able to implement BricsCAD. The flexibility is critical. And finally, Robert, as our uh, CAD manager extraordinaire, will talk a lot more about deployability. But BricsCAD is designed to be deployed. It's designed to move across the network in an efficient way. It's designed to ensure that CAD managers can spend less time uh, managing and more time thinking about how the workflows and tools in BricsCAD can take their organization into the future. So four questions quickly want to review. Number one, can BricsCAD replace my other CAD program? I say yes, without a doubt. And our goal today is to show you how you might get there. Number two, is switching to BricsCAD as easy as you say? Again, I'm setting Robert up, but absolutely, yes. That is one of our key design goals is to keep BricsCAD as compatible as possible with other systems while still bringing new features, machine learning functionality, and AI to your CAD desktop. Will you, Brixis, help me make the switch to BricsCAD? Absolutely, that's what we're here for today. And finally, does BricsCAD offer more than compatibility? Well, if um, I didn't say yes, then there'd be no reason for Julie to do a demo, but there is a reason for Julie to do a demo. She's going to 
uh, take uh, control here in a moment and show you some of the AI and machine learning features of BricsCAD. Now, this is important. The compatibility is implied, but these are features that BricsCAD brings that other products don't have. And we think this is what really helps set us apart from other CAD products available today. So with that, Julie, I'd like to invite you to uh, take the stage. Let me switch you over. And it's all yours. Okay, thank you, Don. And let's see, you got my screen? Yep, there we go. All right, thank you so much. I'm just gonna dive right in and start talking about these AI tools that, that Don alluded to. And we're gonna just start with Blockify. Now, if you've ever used blocks, you know how easy it is for them to become exploded, as is the case here with these L brackets on this vessel structure. We can see that that is made up of 12 individual entities and it's in multiple locations and it's been inserted in different angles too. Now, of course, we want these to be blocks and we can do that with our Blockify tool by simply selecting the geometry that I want to be the block and just taking the defaults. And you'll see how quickly BricsCAD has gone through the block library and look to see if there was an existing block definition that matched this geometry, and there was, so it replaced the geometry with a block. Now, if there was no block definition, then BricsCAD would go ahead and create it. All right, and it did that so much quicker than I could do to create a block, and it actually takes me longer to tell you how it was done than BricsCAD actually did it. So here's another example. We've got a ladder here. And we can see that the rungs are also made up of individual entities. This time when I use Blockify, I'm going to turn on a setting that will automatically detect patterns of geometry and then replace that with arrays. And again, very, we can see how quickly that was done here in that ladder, but also I have another ladder down here and it also has been replaced with arrays. And again, these are arrays just as, it, as if I had created them myself, so I can come in and I can edit the parameters. Again, much quicker than I could do myself. But you might say, well, those are pretty simple examples. Let's take a look at something that's a little more complex. So what do I have here? I have a mess. I've got blocks that were copied and rotated and exploded and just a mess. Over here, we've got um, what those blocks look like, also exploded. So all in here, we've got almost 4,600 individual entities. Now, hopefully your drawings aren't gonna look like this, um, but if they do, you can use Blockify to help clean that up. Now, this time when I run Blockify, I'm going to have it look through the entire drawing and we'll see just how quickly BricsCAD goes through and looks at those existing block definitions and cleans up this mess. Now, if I didn't have Blockify, I probably would just erase all this and start over. But sometimes you don't have that luxury. Maybe you didn't create this drawing. Maybe you were given this drawing by somebody else. So if that's the case, just go ahead, run Blockify on the drawing, and see how that can clean it up for you. Again, quick, easy, very little effort. Now these are examples using 2D geometry and with Blockify, but it also works really well on 3D solids. So here we have a duplex. We can see down here that the file size is just over eight megs. And the way that this duplex was created was half of it was modeled and then it was mirrored. And that means that we've got at least two instances of everything in here, and in some cases more. If we look over here at the stairs and the railings, we can see that these spindles, each one of these has been modeled, so it's a 3D solid. Now, if we were going to create blocks manually for this model, we'd probably only do it for the most obvious, the most uh, repeated elements. We may not do something like this detail over the window because it's only used once or twice. But with Blockify, and it, um, this time we'll also have it go through the whole drawing, it works so quickly that it will create blocks for everything. So now we can see we've got 
a block reference just for that detail as well as everything else. And when we come and look at the stairs, we can see because that array option has been turned on, we've got arrays for the different spindles and some of the posts. Let's also see what Blockify has done to my file size. So we can do a quick file save as, and we can see that it went from over eight megs to under two, again, with very little effort and basically in seconds. Now this is just one tool created by the BricsCAD AI team. Let's take a look at another one called Copy Guided. Here I have just a furniture plan of an office. Now I'm going to use Copy Guided instead of the traditional copy command because it's smarter, it's faster, and it does a whole lot more than just copy. So when I create my selection window, the entities that fell completely within it will be copied and then the entities that cross it are going to be used as those uh, guide curves, which are these blue alignment vectors. And notice as I move my cursor towards that geometry, it snaps into place. And by moving my cursor, I can flip the orientation of that chair and I don't have any snaps on. Now, Copy Guided is smart enough to ignore this geometry because these lines don't match what I selected, but it's intelligent enough to recognize that geometry even when it's at a different uh, angle or even when it's curved. So how, how cool is that? Now, over here, I have an opening. And I think I want to have a similar opening up top. Again, I can use Copy Guided. This time, I'm going to include this corner as well as the opening in my selection. And that now is going to give me alignment vectors running in two directions. And now that will allow me to snap to this matching corner so I can very quickly add that opening. Now, if I didn't have Copy Guided, how would I create that? A lot, of more, a lot more clicks. I'd explo explode the polyline, I'd have to trim, I'd have to copy it, I'd have to turn snaps on. So this, again, much faster and much easier. So I've got my opening, but I've decided actually I don't want the opening. So now what do I do? Again, I can use Copy Guided, this time to select the geometry that I wanna use to replace that opening. And I'll also use the copy region option. So now my selection will just snap into place and replace that opening. Now I do wanna point out that these tools are gonna to work across all industries because the geometry here is just regular arcs and lines and polylines. So this plan could be equipment in a plant. It could be uh, schematic drawings as well. Okay, so as a former AutoCAD user, one of my favorite things about BricsCAD is the ability to combine my years of 2D and 3D CAD experience with the innovative machine learning tools in BricsCAD. I can continue to use what I learned in AutoCAD right in BricsCAD. So here, we've gone ahead and switched to the modeling uh, workspace so I can just extrude, excuse me, extrude this profile. And um, what we're seeing here also is the quad cursor menu. Now this is another tool that's unique to BricsCAD and it's actually a context sensitive tool panel that also uses a machine learning algorithm. So it's observing what I'm doing and then it will make suggestions based on what I've selected or just hover over. Now, in this case, you can see I'm using my standard tools, fillet and extrude uh, commands that should be very familiar to you if you've used other modeling software. So we've got our part extruded, but there's no intelligence because if we look over here in the parameters and constraints dialog, there's nothing there. But again, something unique to BricsCAD is we can use the parameterize tool and go ahead and let BricsCAD analyze this and completely and fully constrain the model. Now, think how long it would take you to go through and add each and every one of these parameters and constraints. 
plus you'd have to have the knowledge on how to do that and BricsCAD did this just in seconds. So let's take a look at those and what they represent. We can just click on one of them over here and right click and then select animate and we can see that that radius one is the thick or the radius of that hub and thickness one is going to be the thickness. So we can continue to do that. We can also just come on and click and we can see on this face that we have a distance parameter with length Z. Okay, length Z isn't very intuitive. So, um, and that's just because a model could be anything like this gear, it could be an auto part, it could be a window. So the parameters and constraints that are added automatically are relatively generic, but you have full control to easily change these. So instead of length Z, we can change that to hub length. We can change the expression from 40 to 80 to see how that works. Oh, and by the way, that expression can also be a ratio. It could be um, a formula. There are also tools up here that will show you what are the defining par parameters versus the dependent parameters. So lots of tools there. And we could continue uh, refining this, but in the interest of time, let me show you what's possible with BricsCAD mechanical license. Um, so with this, uh, everything that I've shown you so far has been core BricsCAD functionality. Uh, and up here you can see I'm running BricsCAD Ultimate as, as Don mentioned. So I have access to all of the levels of the software. And this BricsCAD mechanical is gonna give me uh, the ability to create assemblies and sub-assemblies such as these. So starting off with that simple gear, we can end up with maybe something like this escalator. Now me the mechanical allows me to explode all of this. And so we can zoom in here and see all of the individual parts and pieces. As well as we can go ahead and look at automations because we can create an animations in here. So everything that we've seen here today is one platform, and that means you can use what you already know from AutoCAD right in BricsCAD, and, and what you learn and use in core BricsCAD carries through to our other platforms like BIM and Mechanical. So we can use that same parameterized tool that we used with the gear in Mechanical to create 3D doors and windows in, say, BricsCAD BIM. And then finally, just to do a quick wrap up, because BricsCAD is built on native DWG file format, we kind of get the best of both worlds. The UI is familiar, many of the commands are familiar, and because of that, you'll be very productive right away in BricsCAD. But then you get all of the AI and machine learning tools, and we just talked about a few of them today, Blockify, Copy Guided, Parameterize, and the Quad Cursor menu that are all unique to BricsCAD. Okay, Don, back to you. Awesome, Julie, great job. It's always a pleasure to see a professional demonstrate the product, but it's important to know that, you know, like me and Robert and others, uh, Heidi, uh, you know, Julie started with AutoCAD and that transition, making that transition to BricsCAD was pretty easy. I can even run BricsCAD and that's quite a statement to make because I'm pretty crippled by things like PowerPoint, but I would like to turn it over, speaking about the king of PowerPoint, to my good friend, Mr. Robert Green. Uh, Robert will be talking with you about how the implementation of BricsCAD can be done in a simple and effective way for you and your organization. Mr. Green, take it away. Thanks very much, Don. I hope Hopefully everybody sees my screen. Thanks for attending today. Uh, we hope that you're enjoying what you're seeing. Uh, there's quite a lot of power in BricsCAD, as, as you've seen in AI-oriented tools, mechanical, BIM operations. But what I'd like to do is take you through our essential value proposition. And I'm gonna organize this in a way for how it usually occurs uh, when we go out and start talking to companies who want to replace their current system with BricsCAD. As Don alluded to up front. Uh, it kind of starts with an affordability metric, which is if you can't save money moving to BricsCAD, then why would you consider it? But then once the finances make sense, you start 
uh, being very concerned about how compatible is it, what is it going to take to implement it, and uh, how, it, how are my users going to acclimate to this software. So I'm going to run you through that in the order that we talked about up top. So the first place where it usually starts is affordability. And what I'm going to do is take you through a comparison here of BricsCAD Pro and AutoCAD, which is kind of an apples to apples comparison in terms of functionality. Uh, BricsCAD Pro does not have all the mechanical and BIM tools, some of which Julie was talking about, but it does have the, uh, the core AI tools like Blockify and Copy Guided that she was showing you. Now, first thing to note about BricsCAD is you can buy it as a perpetual license, and I'm going to show you that cost now. So for BricsCAD Pro, we're talking about $850 in year one to acquire it and $255 a year in maintenance. So this gives you a three-year total cost of about $1,600, very nearly, and that is software that you own. It continues to run so long as your operating system and your IT infrastructure can support it, it will continue to run. Uh, it's not a rental product. Now, having said this, some companies want to rent or subscribe to software. And if that's the case for you, then of course, we'll let you do that with BricsCAD because your business, it should be your choice. So here's what a BricsCAD Pro subscription looks like over three years. And let's contrast this with what it costs to rent AutoCAD right now. At a suggested retail price of $16.90 per year, you can see how this cost stacks up uh, slightly over $5,000 US dollars in three years for an AutoCAD subscription. Now let, let's draw a few conclusions right now. The first thing being you can buy a BricsCAD perpetual license and pay for your first year of maintenance for substantially less than it costs you to rent AutoCAD in one year. So right away in year one, you're ahead of the game. You're already saving money with BricsCAD in year one. What about years two, three, and on down the road? Well, BricsCAD maintenance is about 15% the amount of a year of AutoCAD rental. So in year two, year three, you're really, really, really saving money with BricsCAD. Huge, uh, huge cost difference there. And if we look at the total cost of ownership out over a three-year basis, you can actually see that you can purchase a seat of BricsCAD Pro, pay your maintenance on it for three years, and it'll still cost less than renting one year of AutoCAD. So is BricsCAD affordable? Yes, absolutely. And I hope this, this graph kind of uh, jolts you into seeing just how affordable BricsCAD can be. Let's move on to compatibility because if you're interested in purchasing BricsCAD and reaping the savings, you wanna make sure that your implementation will be straightforward so that you can save money there as well. So in large measure, the compatibility that you're going to care about when moving over to BricsCAD has to do with the customization that you've invested in your current platform. So let's talk about that for a moment. Now, from an implementation point of view, these are the things that I see customers care about in, in pretty much the order in which uh, they prioritize it. Your users are going to be very dependent on your CUI elements. This is ribbon tabs, drop down menus. Uh, they're very used to this. They're used to the positioning and placement of these elements on the screen. So we want to be able to bring your custom menus and ribbon tabs over. Users are very reliant on tool palettes. So we're going to bring over the content of your tool palettes and all the associated icons and palette group organizations that your users are used to. You've also got a lot of money invested in Lisp and ARX applications, and that may be a mixture of LSP files. It could be some old VBA. It could be uh, Visual Basic 6 projects. It could be .NET. So we have mechanisms to bring all that over and your list files just read in directly and your ARX builds to DLLs or a simple recompile with Visual Studio. A lot of times users are used to using sheet sets um, to be able to do things like bulk operations, bulk prints, and they're used to organizing and accessing files using sheet sets. So we read those in directly. Of course, we're a DWG-based system, so that also means that we can read your DWT or template files. And to close it all out, 
At the end of this process, it doesn't really matter if you can't capture design intent via prints, mainly PDF generation these days, but any printer configuration that you already have in your existing system can be read directly. So PC3 files, page setups, PMP files, all those can be read ever directly. When you add all of this up, it you can see that your customization is very, very compatible with BricsCAD. So we don't want you to, to lose anything you've already built. We don't want you to abandon that which you already know. We want you to bring the work that you've already done over and use it directly in BricsCAD. So we've made it very easy for you to do so. Now, another aspect of compatibility has to do with file formats. And this is a, a philosophy matter uh, with Brixis. We think that you should have the availability to open data. That's why we so highly embrace storing all of our information in DWG files. This is industry standard. Uh, we're second source compatible and we read DWG files in directly. We save them right out directly. This is a question we get a lot. What do I have to do to import my files, uh, my DWG files into BricsCAD? You don't, you just open them um, just like you would. What do I have to do to save out a DWG? You don't, you just save. It's just that simple. We speak DWG natively. Now our BIM tool um, does store information inside the DWG file. And this is spatial relationships between floors and other models. But the way we do that inside the DWG is we actually use the IFC or industry foundation classes as our native mode of organizing our data. So therefore, when we want to write BIM data out to another application or a plugin or a rendering utility or anything you might like to use, we simply produce an IFC file. We're not translating to IFC, we're writing it out directly because we store all our data in IFC format in the first place. And we embrace the building smart IFC approach uh, for IFC 4 so that we are as compatible as we can possibly be with everyone else in the industry. And we very much believe in open BIM and open data. You should never be held hostage by your data format is our philosophy. Now, because we are so compatible, we're very learnable. So let me walk through this. It was alluded to by Don. You saw some of it as Julie went through her demo, but I'm going to go ahead and state this um, for the record. We are command compatible. If you're like me and your left hand is on the keyboard and your right hand is on the mouse and you're keying in L, you're going to get the line command. If you key in E, you're going to get erase. If you key in Z, you're going to get zoom. So all the commands, that you've ever been used to selecting or typing are command compatible. Our interface is highly compatible. Ribbon elements are where you expect them to be. Pull down menus are where you expect them to be. Palettes, customized tools, Lisp utilities are all read in directly. They float on the screen. They look exactly as you would expect them to look and they are where you would expect them to be. This means that your user can get on BricsCAD straight away and use the muscle memory that they've been building for years or decades and just start driving BricsCAD exactly as they have driven their old CAD application. Their learning curve is almost nil. I do a lot of my training over Lunch and Learns and it's amazing how acclimated people can become in just an hour. So you really can train and learn BricsCAD in just a matter of hours. People are skeptical when they come in the room. After an hour, they leave and they're using BricsCAD. And I've seen it over and over and over in implementation uh, projects that I've done. So if you can use AutoCAD, you can use BricsCAD. Let's talk about how flexible and deployable BricsCAD is. And right now I'm talking to my CAD manager and, and uh, IT brethren out there. We like to have uh, call this one license for planet Earth. And our philosophy is, we don't want to get in between your business and your users. We want BricsCAD to be easy for you to license, easy for you to administer, easy for you to roll out. Uh, we're not going to impose uh, any policies on you. We're not going to impose cloud licensing. We're not going to impose name user accounts or a lot of the things that, uh, that we're seeing in the industry these days. We want to make it very easy for you to work with us. So to that end, 
we will offer you perpetual licenses with a maintenance program, very affordable, as I showed you a few moments ago. If you want to proceed in that manner, that's that's fine. Absolutely fine. That's your say so because it's uh, it's your choice after all. Now, if you do want to subscribe, if that's your preference, fine. If you want to have a mixture of perpetual licenses and subscriptions, that's fine as well. It's entirely up to you. If you'd like to use multiple language versions, BricsCAD supports several popular global languages. That's fine. Just download that version. Your license will work with the other language version, no problem. If you'd like to have people positioned in multiple locations for branch offices, that's fine. We understand. We're not going to charge you more because you want to use a different language version or because people sit in multiple branch offices or, or multiple geolocations. We will allow you to use network multi-user licensing, which is being discontinued um, by some of the popular CAD systems out there these days. We will allow you to do that so that your users can float between locations and between time zones as is appropriate for your business. Everything that you've seen in BricsCAD, from BricsCAD Pro, everything that Julie demoed, mechanical, BIM tools, which you didn't see a lot of this week, everything that you have seen is contained in a single 408 megabyte downloadable MSI file. So that's not a mistake. It's not a typo. It really is only 408 megabytes. So every product can be pushed across your network with that single 408 megabyte file. We install silently and we're very easy to coordinate with your SCCM or IT push, including your licensing files. So you can easily sidestep problems like having to have users log in as admins. Uh, we'll get right around those problems for you. And we've got a host of resources. Uh, if you wanna reach out to us, I can get more specific on that with anyone who's interested. I'm going to get ready to hand it back to Don here in just a second. But what I'd like to say, just from my experience, I've been around the CAD industry a long time. BricsCAD is a uniquely smart solution in the market right now. I mean, it's affordable. It has power that the market leading programs don't have, uh, features that other CAD systems simply don't. Um, and it, it gives you an extremely smart way to solve a lot of the design problems that you're going to have in the future why not try it out? Why not download it? Why not take a look and see for yourself? So at this point, I'm going to hand it back over to Don, and he's going to tell you a little bit how you can see it for yourself. Don, are you ready to roll? I'm after that, Robert. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. Um, yes, you can try BricsCAD today free for 30 days. Um, go to Brixis.com, click the download button. We'll take you to our single sign-on environment. We ask you to create a Brixis account. That shouldn't take you any more than two minutes. We're going to ask you just a few simple questions and then give you direct access to the downloader. You can install BricsCAD in about five minutes, side-by-side -side with your other CAD programs. What I would ask you to do is simply install it, load it, drop a bunch of your current drawings in BricsCAD and take a look at the power that we can bring to your desktop in an affordable modern CAD program. Um, Robert, if you switch the slide, please. I want to ask everybody to check out our event page, brixis.com slash events. We will be continuing this series each week on Tuesdays. Uh, the early offering, the 9 a.m. U.S. Pacific, we also offer an 8 p.m. U.S. Pacific version uh, of this presentation. All of these presentations will be under the BricsCAD Discovery Days um, heading, but we're going to change this presentation moving forward to start to show you more of the power in BricsCAD Platinum the power in our BIM products, a very, very unique approach to building information modeling from Brixis. And of course, to talk more about the power of BricsCAD Mechanical. So we ask you to please tell your friends about this series. Uh, please check the events page on a weekly basis to see what our next offering might be. 
We invite you to join us as often as you wish. Um, if you need our help, please just send us an email at trybrickscad at brixis.com and we'll get in touch with you right away. We're here for you. Everybody, please uh, stay safe, take care of your people, stay at home. We're, we're pushing this curve down and, and this is the most important thing that we can do right now. While you're home, while you have the time, take advantage of it, try BricsCAD. Thanks everybody, we'll end the webinar now. We will leave the question module open for a bit. We wanna thank everybody for joining us today. Stay safe, thank you. <laughs>